All right, let's, let's go ahead and move into Eclipse, and we're going to get our hands dirty by creating a Hello World servlet. So the first thing I want to do is create a new project. So I'll say File, New, and Dynamic Web Project. And then for the name of the project, I'll actually call it Servlet Demo. Then I'll keep all the other defaults here, Apache Tomcat Aid, version 3.1, everything else the same. And then I'll go ahead and click on Next. Here, we'll just go ahead and keep the defaults here for the default output server. I'll hit Next. And then for the context root and context content directory, I'll keep the uh, defaults. And also, I'll check the box here for generate web.xml. So the context roots the actual name of our application once we deploy it, servlet demo. And then I'll go ahead and hit finish. So now we should have a new project out here over to the left called servlet demo. And we have a web content directory and it's empty right now. All right, so the first thing I want to do here is create a new servlet. So I just right click on the project, I say new, and I move down to servlet. And so for this servlet, I give a, a Java package name. So I'll just call it com.lovetocode.servletdemo. And that's just the name of the package for grouping these classes together. And then the actual class name, I'll call it hello world servlet. And then once I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and click on the next button. Um, here they just have the servlet name. I'll keep it as is. I'll accept all the other defaults and I'll move ahead and click next. Here they can um, tell us which methods they want to stub out or create for us on the fly. So right now we'll go ahead and accept the uh, defaults. They're going to create a do get and a do post method. We'll go ahead and keep all the defaults here and we'll just hit finish. Okay, great. So this looks similar to the uh, code we had in the um, PowerPoint slides, but uh, Eclipse generated a lot of this for us. So they created a new package and they also have the new servlet.java uh, file. So this is really good. This is a good jump start for us for our servlet development. All right, so let's go ahead and dig into the servlet and just kind of see how it works here. Uh, so first on line 14, we simply have our um, Hello World servlet. So public class Hello World servlet extends HTTP servlet. And we always have that declaration there. And then up on line 13, we have our at web servlet. So this is simply an annotation that gives the actual path or the URL for us to actually access this servlet. All right, so let's go ahead and look at some of the code. There's a lot of generated code. What I want to do here is uh, take a look at the uh, do get method. So this is the one method that we override where we're going to actually provide our response. So when the browser makes a call to our servlet, then it'll actually access or call this do get method. So this do get method has a request and a response. Uh, the interior there, I'm going to remove, that was all the auto generated code. And I want to actually give my own custom code here. So let's go ahead and write some code. So first off, I always like to put out the uh, comments as far as what I need to do here. So for step one, I need to actually set the content type. Then for step two, I need to actually get a handle to a print writer that I'll use for sending back data. And then step three is actually generating the HTML code uh, on the fly. So those are the three main steps as far as what we need to do inside of this do get method. So let me just get some little white space here just so we can kind of have some room to work with. So for setting the content type, you know, we have two parameters coming in. We have the request object coming in and that has a little form data coming in from the browser and then the response object. That's our handle that goes back to the browser. So what I want to do here is use that response object and set the content type. So I say response dot set content type. And then I make use of the content type of text slash HTML. So I'm telling the browser, Hey, I'm going to send back text data and this data is formatted as HTML. So the browser knows how to handle it and the browser will render it accordingly as HTML data. 
The next thing I need to do is get the print writer. So I say print writer out equals response dot get writer. So remember, remember that response object came in as a parameter up above and it has our handle to communicate back to the browser. Now I need to fix something on line 34. We just simply need to do an import. And I simply need to do an import on this uh, print writer from the java.io package. So you go ahead and click that item there and Eclipse will handle the imports for you automatically. All right, good. So now we can, you know, start doing some real work here. So now we can actually start generating our HTML content. So first off, I'll just do some out print lines and I'll just do some normal HTML housekeeping, right? Uh, our HTML tag body. And then I'll do a similar thing here on ending those tags. So I'll do a slash body slash HTML. So that's all of the normal stuff we'd have to set up. And now at this point, it's totally up to us. We can just start generating HTML. We can keep it as simple or we can make it as fancy as we'd like here. Uh, so here I'm going to do an out print line H2 and I'll just say hello world. And then I'll do another out that print line and I'll just do a print line for an HR for horizontal rule. And next I'll say out that print line time on the server is and then I simply create a new date object. So I'll say new Java util dot date. Uh, this will do this concatenation. I'll call the two string version on the date and that result will be included in this HTML page that I'm generating on the fly that I'm going to send back to the browser. So those are the three major steps there. Setting the content type, getting the print writer and generating the HTML content. And again, remember, whenever we're building servlets, there's some special methods here, do get and do post. So here we're going to override this do get method and provide our functionality. So when they access this uh, servlet from the browser, it's going to automatically call the do get method. And that's a special method that's part of the servlet API. All right, so this looks really good so far for our first servlet. Uh, let's go ahead and try it out. So what I can do here is I can go to the servlet class file. Um, I can simply run it on the server. So I do a right click, I choose run as, and then I choose run on server. And they'll ask me which server to run it on. I'll choose, you know, Tomcat 8 that's already installed. Always use this server. And then um, I'll hit the finish button. And all right, this looks really good. So here's our output of our servlet. So we have hello world, time on the server is, and then they just drop in that time. So this was all generated on the fly by our servlet. And uh, we wrote all the code to make this happen. So this is a really good example of just getting started very quickly with servlets and uh, writing our very basic hello world servlet. Um, in some of the following videos, we'll get into more advanced things like reading form data, um, overriding other methods, and then also doing some comparisons with servlets uh, and JSPs. But this is a really good start for right now. So good job.